<laughs> Whoop and Soccer presents the Whoop Episodes, featuring stories written by Emerson Elementary. Yeah! A Dragon's Dream by Max Every day, a dragon would perch at the volcano, and every day he would say to himself, oh, I wish I had a friend. The dragon would normally run home, but this day as he flew off from where he perched, he saw a wall. Then he saw a female dragon. He saved her, and they became friends. My name is Sayo. My name is Larry. They went everywhere, until that bad old war came, and it destroyed lots and lots of nature. But Sally and Larry were saving all of the nature. I have an idea. Oh, I have an idea. That night, they burned the war troops off. And then they lived happily ever after. The end. Granny Also Holds a Walking Stick by Alba from Emerson. Once Mr. Joe Bob was walking to his house when he got a phone call from his granny. She said, come over to my house. Okay, said Mr. Joe Bob. Mr. Joe Bob, Mr. Joe Bob, Mr. Joe Bob went over to his granny's house. So that night, he drove over to his granny's house. And when he arrived, she went out to see him, but she fell over because she was so old. Oh my gosh, she said. But then she got up and tooted because she could not hold it in. <sighs> tooting granny, tooting granny, tooting granny. She farted cause she's really old. Then old granny says, I'll wake up and make breakfast at 6 a.m. tomorrow. But she's so old, she slept until 10.20 in the afternoon! That's it! Mr. Joe Bob, Mr. Joe Bob, he wanted breakfast, but Granny slept until 10.20 in the afternoon. So Mr. Joe Bob made her a cuckoo clock, and a wheelchair, and a toot diaper for his dear old Granny with a walking stick. When he gets to Granny's house, she says, Oh, yes! And they live happily ever after. Mr. Joe Bob, Mr. Joe Bob, did you know Bob? Granny loves ya, Mr. Joe Bob, Mr. Joe Bob, and his Granny. His granny with a walking stick. The end. Hi, I'm Jeff's mother. Jeff was born on January 10th, 2007. And boy, was I so excited to have a little baby boy. Little did I know. Jeff was gonna start taking things. Like, I would walk into another room and I just, I couldn't find my shoes. My lipstick was gone. Any sort of jewelry I had, couldn't find it. And then, he got a 
addicted to hair bands. You know these little things you put in your hair? Couldn't find one in our house. What? 999,998. 999,999, 999,090, 1 million. <laughs> I sent him to school when he was five years old. And boy, did we have trouble then. Oh no, where are the hair bands? No, 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 so what? Jeff? Yes, mother? Tell me the truth. How many hair bands did you take at school? None. 99,999,999 plus one. So a hundred million. What do you mean a hundred million hair bands? A hundred million? Oh, Jeff, you are so grounded. Oh, man. Hello world, my name is Mr. Alexis, and today I will be telling a story written by Armani, a wonderful student who wanted you all to know about something very important that's floating around all of us right now, you may have heard of it, it's, um, it's called Air. This is 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 People breathe air, someone died from it. The air, this is air. People breathe air, someone died from it. The air, this is air. People breathe air, someone died from it. The air, this is air. People breathe air, someone died from it. The air, this is air.
Want your air blowing in my face uh, Stay safe Stay safe I don't want your air blowing in my face uh, uh, Stay safe Stay safe uh, I don't want your air blowing in my face uh, uh, Stay safe Stay safe I don't want your air blowing in my face uh, Stay safe Stay safe I don't want your air blowing in my face uh, uh, Stay safe Stay safe I don't want your air blowing in my face Uh, uh, stay safe Stay safe